Hey guys, Susanna here. Well, I'm back with part two. Um, as you can see, um, actually, I might zoom it in a bit. There we go. Have that in the middle. That way, if I lift it up, it should be right. Okay, yes, yeah, so um, as you can see, I've done, I've worked on all of that. And. I'm up to doing the uh, other part of the of the bird. <clears throat> I um, tried using this to do a little worm on there, but it was a bit thick. It just didn't seem to, get, to uh, go through. So I won't use that. I still, uh, I might use something like that on there though. Like I quite like, might couch that. I'm going to stop that there. Let me just look. About there. And then probably put that here. Something like that. Just to add a bit of definition and texture to the project. Now, move these over. Okay. Now I've started, um, I'll just put this aside. I've started stitching, like I finished the stitching along there and I used that color there. And I've started stitching this down. And as you can see on the back, all I've done is like, a, like here, I've just done a slip stitch to stitch down the tree. And then another slip stitch like this. To just to stitch down the bird and I thought you know you've seen this stitch plenty of times before um, it's a bit tricky because it's going through a few layers so let's grab it and because it's got um, heat and bond on underneath it will hold it in so you don't have to do a um, massive like big stitch you know I'm not making any sense okay I've got this is my old blizer fix that I use right and it's pu pulling apart now but I've since gone to spotlight and got um, heat and bond stuff I'll just go and grab it and I think, um, yes, yeah, see, there you go. Heat and bond, and it's stuck on, which is so good because it, that coming apart like that gets really annoying. So, um, Spotlight must have imported it, imported it, sounds funny, from the, um, from the US. And it's a lot thicker and like as in it won't fall, come apart because when it comes apart, it just gets really hard um, to cut and... Um, like little pieces and all that kind of stuff which in a upcoming project um, I'm going to be doing um, a slow stitch I've already got the pattern I've made the kits and done everything um, a slow stitch bird uh, kit and pattern and it's just it's so cute so um, and there's lots of little bits which I need the heat and bond for and I need it to stay together and not pull apart like that other stuff does. So I'm really glad that I have found it because it can be rather frustrating when it pulls apart. So I'm just continuing to, this is just to make sure that it stays together. Oh. Doesn't come apart and then if you want to, um, I've just used like this colour here because it matches the nest. But if you want to make it look more natural or whatever, you could you could probably could use like a brown or something like that. But I've just gone with the background colour. Um, yeah. So I hope I'm making sense today. I'm a bit 
all over the place. I believe this is going to be the last one for the year of my block of the month. So different plans for next year. There's a few up and coming projects that um, sound really exciting. I really like the one that um, Rachel and Sarah um, from Roxy Creations are doing. Like I'm going to be um, joining in them doing that. The really um, journal of stitchery book. I thought that's a great idea because I've still got and it's just sitting here it has inspired me these are all my pieces from the collaboration and I haven't put it together uh, and I'm doing a new collaboration in January next year so I thought you know better pull my finger out and put that together um, but um, I was going to turn that into a quilt but I just thought well the next collaboration is definitely going to turn into a quilt because it's a quilt block base um, whereas this, I think turning it into a, um, turning them into a book, like what um, Rachel is doing, and this is Rachel's one, it's so gorgeous. Every now and again when I'm on Pinterest it comes up, and I'm like, oh, there's my block. So, um, yeah, beautiful. Just beautiful. That's Sarah's one. That's Jeanette's one. They're just so beautiful. So I thought, well, I better, I better turn them into a, a book like what um, what Rachel is doing. So, um, and then I'm going to be making an, another little um, little book thing and doing a stitch per month too. I think that is really good. I sort of regretted not doing the fifty two tags last year. Um, I did my twelve tags. Here's my twelve tags. Uh, well, that's um, eight, eight tags, no, no, ten tags. And then I've got another one here because I didn't do the hedgehog one, but I've since found um, one I've done when I was into journaling and it's got a hedgehog on it, so I'm going to use that one. And then I've got to do the next video after this will be the, the last tag for this one. So I've got to try and figure out what I'm going to do for that. So yes, too much, so much work, no, not enough time, eh? Now, what I want to do for this, I've got to stitch this part here. It's just, a, this is just the finishing off stitch, stitch and chat video. So um, I'll just finish that and I might even... Um, stitch on here as well. I might use the same thread even though it's on the pattern. Use that as a guide. It's sort of a darker colour. I might, I don't know, we'll see how we go. See how we go. So, because it's got a bit of a darker colour in there. So, I'll start here, just holding it together at this point. It's a bit of a slip stitch. Just a look at the uh, my other birdie one. There you go. Here are these. That's the hedgehog one, so I'm going to stitch around that. And then, yeah, these ones I made using, um, what's this, napkins. So they're rather cute, and this one had a hedgehog. Henry Hedgehog getting ready for winter, so I will put um, some of the fabric on there and stitch around it, and that can be my, my hedgehog one, because the colours and everything fit in really well. Um, looking for the bird, the bird nest one. Oh, here we go. There it is. Oh, yeah, see, it's got, it's got that on there, so I may, um, 
and they go back using those colours. So, what I'll do, stitch that down, go down there, and then see what it looks like using this red because it's red and it's got a bit of a darker color in with it I think it's going to be a good good color just to give it a bit of a highlight yeah I think that's good So I've picked out, I thought I got inspired by Rachel and Sarah um, and I was going to make this into a book book. These are all my blocks, um, like as in a fabric book. And I still might, but this is the right size for it. I could probably turn that into, and it's just a cover that seems to be the right size to put these blocks in. I'll just see how I go. Okay. Now I might just go underneath here like that. And catch these. I've come a bit too far over. Now, um, like I say, with all my blocks, you can do as little or as much as you like, like this one. It was a lot of work, especially here. But I just did that because it lent itself to doing that. And I love, you know, each each of these blocks has got that little bit of, um, you know, the floral design on there. Each of them are a little bit different. Um, yeah. So if you wanted to, on the background here, you know, you could probably pick out some of the stuff. But I like that it's sort of a bit fuzzy. It just looks like the bird is in a tree and that it's um you know flowers and stuff in the background um having giving that sort of look um okay i'm gonna do it that way it's probably easier maybe i just want to grab it from here don't want it to be too too thick. Love the fabric for this. I think that might be the same one that I use for the squirrel. But I like that it's got dots and everything in there. Put that over. quickly catch and grab no one's excited me watching me do this but it has to be done and then after I do this um, I might do the eye like with a satin stitch like I do every other time Okay. 
which I think I did in this one. I'll catch that last bit here and then I'm going to go up here and catch that so this is the stuff that you draw in with your black pen that you have that's why I get one of these pens and the gel pens are always really handy um, for drawing on the fabric this off and then I'll go near the um, the eye and go around the eye but I think we need to actually stitch the eye first and I think I will stitch it because it gives it a little bit more dimension if you leave it you can leave it in with um, just in the black that we've done with the pen which is okay too but since every other stitchery I have done I'll leave that with the black. I'm going to use this is sort of like a browny black, so it's not quite black black. And I think there's a little bit of white here. Okay. check my since I've got them here how did I do it with the robin yep I did stitch it and then I went around it with the white oh, okay see that's another thing too I did the stitching on here and so you could really I think I want to do a little bit more on, on this part here and that's my nut first one <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to go, since it's all going that way, I am going to go this way, I think. Um, where's the robin? I went the other way. So we just do a satin stitch, which is the stitch is really close together and we just follow the shape of the eye okay. it gives it a little bit more dimension if you've embroidered it I think I'm going to cover that white dot, but that's okay because I'll be doing a French knot and getting it back again. Okay, so it's very fairly close to the edge of. Um, Yeah, so you've got to be really careful. Okay. Going through a few layers, that's why I'm taking it slow. And while I've got black, I'm going to go around the beak. the eye and 
Jesus. Just in front of the brick. And I'm going to go around it as well. it just just a smidge Go through a few layers, so don't think I'll do if I don't catch it too much. Thank goodness it's got the visor fix on it because it's holding it down. I'm just going to use this to go around the outside so you can still see the beak. Okay. I think I may have to go back over this bit here and catch that because it's sitting up. There we go. That's it. So let's give it a little bit more of a three D look. I think in previous ones here I did it just a satin stitch, but because it's got the fabric there, I'm just sort of basically going around it. Okay, now I might come out through it again. Don't need to go undone. Okay, now we need to get that dot back in there. Where did it go? There it is. And give it an eye. Yep. I don't know if I'm going to go around it. Let's see. Let's see. It does sort of make it look good, doesn't it? But we'll um, let's see how we go. So I'll go in the middle. Let's get on there. There. Yeah. Sort of like three quarters. Not quite in the middle. Come through. And I'm just going to do one French knot. 
I don't want it to be too big. So maybe we can go around. I think it might highlight it a little bit. And I'm going to use that, this thread again to highlight some of these bits. And then we're done with the bird. And I'm going to go back and do the little worm. And maybe couch this on with the brown. You'll see the finished piece in the thumbnail anyway. Now, yeah, I think. Going white around it, it just sort of highlights it. I mean, this is no particular bird. This is just, I mean, this, the first one, the robin, is actually a robin, whereas this is just, um, excuse me, design bird. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bird out there with these attributes to it. Okay. Look. Look Definitely makes the eye stand out, that's for sure. It's bulging. Yeah, that's better. Now, um, this off and I like what's happening on sometimes it's good to visit revisit other pieces that you've done get inspired by your own work <laughs> okay there we go we'll see how on here I've done I've stitched some of it so I might do that because it seems a little it seems a little low so I'm gonna get this from this up again so I might use that darker color first I wonder how we're going for time I better have a look Oh. 28 minutes so it's enough to finish that and then to do to do my little worm okay since it is the last one we might as well take our time eh? now I'm going to start here I want that to sort of be a bit darker. Okay. It's a variegated thread, so not a bad thing. got a couple of lines in around the eye I think there's one more here.
Yeah. Yeah, this it needs to be a little, I'm gonna get rid of that. It needs to be a little bit more going out. stitches along the top there that I've drawn in. And did you draw back it? Well not a great deal left. Do one more. And I reckon I can do another one. Just here. And then I'll do the last one. See how that looks better? I'll tie that off later. But I like that. It's got a little bit more extra and it sort of makes that look a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do is um, now I've got this fabric and I've got the woolen knot here so what I'm going to do this is a, a little bit thicker and I was going to do a green worm but this is thicker thread so which I did need a thicker thread I will need my little thing now so when you do um, okay so I want my little worm to crawl from here so I'm going to go A and then I'm going to go quite a bit of length and then you come out and you go next to that. So this is how long I want it to be. Then we wrap it around. And the reason why I'm doing it quite long is to sort of I want it to you know curl up like a a um, caterpillar does okay so that's quite long but still not enough probably going to get it all the way to the top so if you want um, it to be this like a straight See how that's pretty long? Like it's a fairly long and that's pretty long. But I want it to be a little bit more curlier. So I'm going to make it longer than the actual part. So if I wanted to have it straight, I would put it on that much. So see how we go. So what I'm going to do now is slowly push it down and pull out people I remember being quite intimidated with bullion knots and I can see why because they aren't always easy so you push gently push down and you slowly Pulling it through, and you're pulling it down, through there. Come on. I think I probably did it a little tight, or I've got the wrong type of needle. See, we all struggle with these. goodness my little worm is not 
not complying. Where are we? Here it is. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting a grip. Come on. Bring it down. This is really enticing you to do it, isn't it? Seeing me struggle the way I am. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now. where I'm struggling because um, it needs the end need to be pulled out. There we go. Oh, okay, so what we're going to do now is we, we pull it back on itself once you get all the stuff out. And I really want it to sort of look worm-like. That's the the whole point of me having it longer so okay now I'm gonna hold that down here which I'll hold that down but then I want to get that wormy look so I'm going to come back in and couch that down so it has a bit of that I want it to look like a worm. So up. Oop. Okay. There we go. Sort of looks wormy. Wondering if I should um, come back with a green or something like that and make it look a little bit wormy. It's all cute. There's a bit of a thicker thread. So that's how you can do if you want to make it that it's longer. There you go. Um, and I'm going to chop that off and I'll come back in with a thinner green thread. Just to add a bit of colour. Where are you going? It looked a bit like a sort of a stripy caterpillar. There we go. I promise after this I'll be done. <laughs> so cute. And then I'm also going to um, put this on as well. So I'll do that off camera. So this is another way we can make sure that it's staying down so just gonna do a bullion no not this bullion and a like a couching thing which will hold it down but it'll also give it little caterpillar stripes oh that's cute Okay, yes, I think that does make it look more caterpillar. -y. <laughs> that's if that's a word. I don't think they have little antennae. 
but I will. I might do a little. I might do a little black eye though. Don't know how I'm going to do that. Whether I do a little dot. Yeah. There we go. And I can probably come back in with a small bit of thread and make it look like it's a black eye. Oh, that is so cute! <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah, definitely having the green on there makes it look good. There you go, guys. Isn't that cute? And I'll come back in with maybe just um, a cotton thread in black to do the eye. I love that. You can't really see it, but you know. There you go. I love it. Okay, guys. Well, I'll zoom it in a little bit. It's 40 minutes. It's quite long, but um, I really like how he's turned out. He looks very cute. So I'm going to go back in and maybe just couch that down just more for texture and i might do the same with that just to give it a little bit of texture and so i'll just couch it down okay um i'll catch you later and i'll see you in the next one where i'm going to be doing the tag and then um we'll probably put this book together may not be done straight away but I will get it done. I want to get it done. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, this year's tutorials and and the very last one. Um, yeah, thanks very much. I really appreciate all your support and your encouragement during this year. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.